Donald Trump just signals that Taiwan belongs to China. That's what I think has just happened here. I believe that Donald J. Trump just signaled that the United States of America will no longer be offering Taiwan protection. And it can't. And it can't because China just passed a law that the fundamental elements of the Taiwanese, or, or not Taiwan, Hong Kong, the fundamental elements of the Hong Kong government have approved. Hong Kong has fallen. This is my interpretation of what Donald Trump just announced and the policy changes that he just announced regarding Hong Kong. Y'all tell me if I'm crazy, but I believe Donald Trump just announced the United States of America will no longer be protecting Hong Kong from China. You tell me. Makes clear that Hong Kong is no longer sufficiently autonomous to warrant the special treatment that we have afforded the territory since the handover. China has replaced its promised formula of one country, two systems, with one country, one system. Therefore, I am directing my administration. Here we come. Now, well, basically, what he is saying there, and what about, and this is what I thought immediately, did he just pretty much say that Hong Kong is pretty much China, and China is pretty much Hong Kong now? You tell me, based on this part here administration to begin the process of eliminating policy exemptions that give Hong Kong different and special treatment. My announcement today will affect the full range of agreements we have with Hong Kong, from our extradition treaty to our export controls on dual-use technologies and more, with few exceptions. With few exceptions. This is this is essentially dropping the hammer on Hong Kong. This is abandoning Hong Kong. This is like saying the U.S. is going to be pulling out of Hong Kong. Now, I don't, th there, there is, there was recently arms deals that were announced. Oh, no, that was Taiwan. Never mind. Stop it. Stop putting Taiwan in with Hong Kong. Stop it. Uh, but, but, but this is, this is devastating to the people of Hong Kong, let me tell you. This is, this is, this is big news. We will be revising the State Department's travel advisory for Hong Kong to reflect the increased danger of surveillance and punishment by the Chinese state. Hong Kong has apparatus. fallen. We will take action to revoke Hong Kong's preferential treatment. Dang. Separate customs and travel territory. This is going to devastate Hong Kong businesses that do business with America. Devastate. From the rest of China, the United States. I'm not will saying what he's doing is wrong. Steps or right. to sanction PRC and Hong Kong officials directly or indirectly involved in a. He's going to sanction officials. I don't know what that means. That they're well, they all have American assets, so. I'm sure they'll lose American assets, but this is this is a pretty dramatic move. I I think Donald Trump fully intends on pulling up stakes and and leaving out Taiwan, but but or Hong Kong, but saying, listen, man, I don't think that the United States can afford to make let China continue to to expand its South China Sea's ring of fire. I don't think Australia can afford to to want that is, is a number of other nation states that would be decidedly not in favor of being ruled by the Chinese. America is, I'm just going to tell you, a f compared to what China will be, and already is, a far more benevolent emperor than China. I don't want any emperors. I don't want America to continue to be an emperor. But it it's much preferred over what China offers. They have a very, very different mentality. They are, their government at least, not not their people fundamentally, but significant parts of their people, and certainly their government itself, they're fascist. Eroding Hong Kong's autonomy and, so, and just if you so, take a look, smothering, absolutely smothering, smothering Hong Kong's freedom. This is an announcement right here. Our actions will be strong. Our actions this. will be meaningful. More I don't I don't know what that means. 
he he's this is this is I don't know how you shake this out of the way. This this is kind of a capitulation right here. This is stunning. More than two decades ago, on a rainy night in 1997, British soldiers lowered the Union flag and Chinese soldiers raised the Chinese flag in Hong Kong. The people of Hong Kong felt simultaneously proud of their Chinese heritage and their unique Hong Kong identity. The people of Hong Kong hoped that in the years and decades to come, China would increasingly come to resemble its most radiant and dynamic city. The rest of the world was electrified by a sense of optimism that Hong Kong was a glimpse into China's future, not that Hong Kong would grow into a reflection of China's past. In and that's what he's decision, saying, Hong Kong I will is. continue to proudly defend and protect the workers, families, and citizens of the United States of America. Thank you very much. Thank you. That last line, in every decision I will defend. So he is making a decision here. And the decision is basically, you, you're done, Hong Kong. You're done. Let's just capture him. Of the United States of Let's America. Thank you very much. Look at that. Thank you. There is a gravitas and a humility in that. Uh, uh, this little moment here. Just watch at the very end. You know what? Let me try to slow this down. All right. Of the yeah, let's just... This is where he's saying he's going to... Uh, just, just at the very end here. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I can capture this moment. There, There is this moment. This is not a man who is acting in strength, is what I think. He's acting in resolve, but not strength. He is a man who is 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 conceding. You you can't really hold on to Hong Kong if Hong Kong can't hold on to itself. And this is a defeated man. What he realizes is fundamentally the powers that be within Hong Kong, just like what's happened to America, they sold out. The Americans that had the Americans that, that got into these foreign markets first they sold out to the foreign markets. And it was it's not just China that America sold out to. China happens to be the biggest customer. But it's not just China that's gotten all kinds of access to America for for cash. And 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 the same things happened in Hong Kong. And I, I just wonder if Donald Trump if if he kind of realizes that. He starts this off. This whole thing is about his state statement on on China, and he he goes through all this litany of what China has done, all the things that America has done to other countries on the main, by the way. Uh, but then he does point out at the end, listen, it's not it's not just China's fault. It's what he really should be saying. It's not China's fault. China just know what nation states do. It's it's Americans' fault. China only got in because Americans said yes. That's it. Americans did what the, the Americans did this to us. It's Americans that are to blame for what's happened to Americans, not the Chinese. Just like I tell you the truth, it's the Bulgarians to the degree to which it was the decisions of the Bulgarians to whore to the Russians. Then it was the Bulgarians that are to blame for what happens to the Bulgarians to the degree to which it wasn't Bulgarian decisions. That's another because they there was a lot of coercion involved in that exchange, but. The point is that the parts in which it's your own citizens, in, in the case of America, China didn't use any coercion. They used persuasion. They used wealth. They used wealth now and the promise of even greater wealth later. And believe you me, if they had continued along the path that they were going, there was tremendous amounts of wealth to be made by these American businesses, by Facebook and 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 the, the, the conglomerate of media outlets that own all of our news outlets, Disney's and whatever all these these small numbers of outlets are. They they were set to make tons of money until Donnie came along. Say what you will about him. Donald Trump is most assuredly 
laying down the gauntlet with Chinese. And here, he is now willing to sacrifice Hong Kong rather than... And I think uh, geopolitically, this is a good strategic move, even though it does show America's weakness. But it's a good, if I'm right, if I'm reading this right, it's a good geopolitical move. We, we, we can't afford to get tangled up in a war with China defending a land wh whose internal infrastructures are divided, whose internal infrastructures might very well ultimately support Chinese hegemony over the land. So with that in mind, I don't know that he has much choice but to basically announce... We're severing all ties. This is the end. You don't have to worry about what will America do? Will America defend Hong Kong? The answer is no. As far as that is concerned, Hong Kong's gone. America's conceding the point, but now America has to have a measure of saving face to make some people pay, but not really. They don't have much power in this concern. Now the focus is on Taiwan. And now... All the more focus will shift to Taiwan. And now the Americans are going to have to figure out how to get into Taiwan and assure that they don't do to the Taiwanese. And maybe it's already too late. Maybe the Chinese infiltration is already pretty thorough. I have no idea. But but that's that's the next move. That's 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 where the next focus is gonna be. Donald Trump is just saying Hong Kong we 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 we're not going to do it. we we're done that's it goodbye hong kong goodbye hong kong i'll end it there this was a a special segment that had nothing to do with the usual frico talks the news show just i saw this and i thought oh wow yeah i think i don't know if people are going to get the significance of this maybe they will <laughs>